Mm. Usually I'm a massive fan of uh, Griffin Wing, but let's go for this. I might actually get Claw Shard. I'm not a fan of Claw Shard either. Maybe I'm leaning too far into the... Into the Medusa Burst. Yeah, you can... Bro, you can learn so much off the internet these days. YouTube, specifically, for sure. But a lot of other things, too. Fucking look like rock stars, huh? And now we are a fucking bunch of wine cough. Yeah, bunch of fucking clowns. Drop a skill and I'm happy. Okay, can't be missing that much. At that point, I should have just done this. Missed way too much. Good. Dead. Got the red though. Everything about the way I played that early game was terrible. I could have I could have just stayed on the blue. No, oh, I got it. Thank goodness I like Thought to auto cancel. Is a little weird. Thank goodness. I didn't even pick up the blue, which kind of sucks. Like a kid in a candy store. I like if I didn't get that kill. Yeah, they buffed it a while ago. I don't want to start leveling my one. That's up. That's not good. My dash is up in three, but his one's going to just own me. Good news there is I dragged him away from the wave. I did not think he had his ult coming up. I think I'll go Solita. That was terrible. Everything about my ult there. He's got so much lifesteal too. This is just fucked up. I've got Medusa passive. So 
There's a... Uh, shard and ult. My ult was just so tragic there. I don't even have enough for Soul Eater, so... I mean, I could get Devos too, but I actually think Solita's pretty fitting. Like, cooldown's really good. And I do a lot of ability damage. Like, I guess I'm double stacking and he's not, and I am um, wondering why trades aren't going well. That was weird, he kind of lagged forward. I, I swear people have been lagging in my games a lot more. I think it might be my internet at that point. I think Pesty is just a better choice here. Okay, awesome. Literally tabbed. I had beads up, but I didn't want to beads and die anyway, especially since I dashed out of base. Thing is, he didn't even clear the wave, so I'm not like losing that much, but... Just got to be aware of it now. We have that he didn't go clear the wave, so I lost anything. A lot of stacks away from uh, anything good here. Okay, the Chesters were there. Finally got Transcendence done. Just back. I think he just popped his shard, maybe? I mean, he's probably got his ult up now, so... Red's up soon. Very far away from Soul Eater, still. This is up. Happy to chill. Still don't have stacks, still don't have pestilence. Some hard candy is always good. Ooh, okay, that was a fucking thorns angle for sure. Because if I anti heal him all the way and beads is stun late game, I can just stay on him with thorns. Well, I can just like hard out trade him with thorns. Sit here and get stacks. I am so far behind. But I've got an expensive build.
He hasn't hit many wraps this game. That is a good thing. Medusa is hard to hit though. So, he hit that one. I think it's an X-E angle. I don't think I need any more like crazy anti-heal. Like I got Pesty plus my two, right? So Pesty stacks up a lot. It does a lot of anti-healing. Sprint there. I'm going to play for the kill here. I don't know when his ult's up though. I shouldn't have played for the- ah! I think if this 2 wasn't up at that second though. Or I had an active. Oh, if I hit either of those two ones. I knew it all was coming up too. I don't know why I made- If I hit either of those ones, what a massive fucking, like, change that would be. Okay. What am I going to do for my build to make it good? My Phoenix might be just gone, bro. So I, th I think I could go crit and that would be fine. I'll go, I'll go boomerang. That's my one crit item. I think I'll chase him to the end of the earth. Gonna heal a lot. My int here. Nice. Can't even get what I want. I guess I'll just sit here and base. Nice little uh, revenge kill. Have to not die ever again. Toxic Blade would be fine, but my attack speed with my one is already like super nuts, so. I could like not clear and play that game. Try to get the side mids here. Okay. I, I should definitely upgrade my beads, and at that point, maybe I should upgrade my sprint a little bit too. Oh, maybe I should get a a pot as well. I think I think just a Deathbringer is like the best item I can get. Well, Xe's like Xe's good pen, like regardless. I don't think like I need need more. Time. 
for that somewhat useful place. The blue's actually pretty big, right? Because it puts me at 40%. Good to see he also got a uh, 500 pot. He has to stare at me for that. Maybe ulting wasn't even good. I could have just hit him more and then made sure I didn't die. Definitely get the phoenix or the tower if I can. Okay, so I'll load that up. Blue's up, right? Oh, he's not going for it. If I could back, that'd be awesome. It's fine. This is so, like 25 power is so useless. Definitely want the Deathbringer though. I think it's good against his shell as well as lifesteal. Should be on blue. I want the timer on red. It's up soon? Fuck. My beads and sprint. I mean, my sprint's up. My beads is not up, and I don't have Deathbringer yet. Guess I'll, uh, I'll just load my one though. Actually, mana sustain isn't a big deal, so. If I can get Deathbringer, get out of base. Oof, that's massive. So much DPS I get for that. Glad that was a. Uh... Nice crit, but it wasn't like lucky or anything. I had a boomerang stack. Deathbringer puts me at 50 right. So after the boomerang stack, I'm literally higher than 50%. Turn around there. 